Hey guys, before I send this to storage, I will show you a huge collection of rare magic cards. Just plenty of them. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit because there's a lot of them. That is zooming in. Yep, there we go. And this, all this stuff is going to storage. It's about, I guess, 10,000 semi-valuable magic cards, but I can't get rid of them, so they're not that valuable. So this is binder one. Obviously, we are in green. And there's actually more, there's much more, but I'm just gonna show you three different binders right now. And they're just rares from a long time ago. Timbermere, I love that card so much. Uh, it wasn't very good, but I still love it. So, uh, bio, they had to ban this card, which is kind of sad, but I can understand why. I'm pretty sure it's banned in idiots, and then your dragons, your crucibles, your other dragons. It's actually extremely tiring flipping these pages because it's so late at night. Hopefully you can see all the cards and obviously we'll grab another binder after this is done. Lava, yeah, the muses were very good. I've always enjoyed the muses. And then it'll go to storage. So this is what, what happens to my bulk cards. Uh, if I cannot trade them or sell them or get rid of them, I just put them in these binders and they go to storage. So as you can see, some recent sets, some not recent sets. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. This is just red. The good stuff, I actually just keep in a different binder, which you guys have seen those binders before. But, you know, I open a ton of packs, so one of the questions you guys might have is, what happens to all your bulk? Well, I keep it, and then I give, I give the commons and uncommons away to local players, because why not? But uh, this is what happens to most of my bulk. I'm pretty sure I have 10,000 because I always try to hit 10,000 uh, before I send it off. I don't know why. Like in storage, I have a lot more of bulk and it's just binders after binders after binders after binders. Oh, I don't know what happened here. I guess uh, I must have took some cards out. This card is pretty good. I really liked it back in the day, but it was just not very... Like, these cards I liked, enjoyed playing, enjoyed uh, looking at, but they're just not good. Maybe one day some of them will be valuable. So that's what happens when a card becomes valuable. Let's say, like, oh, so-and-so card became valuable. Well, I probably have it. I just have to find it because it's not organized. These are beautiful pre-release promos. Probably my favorite... Just the blue-green, very awesome. Artifacts, so what colors are we missing right now? And yeah, so this is my large binder of bulk. It's not organized in any significant way. So if like, for instance, Miso's Bobble, I don't, Miso's Bobble wouldn't be here because it's an uncommon and only some uncommons I would put here, but not many. But let's assume that Miso's Bobble is hidden here. It's a $25 card, and eventually, in the beginning, it was bulk. I would not be able. I would be able to find it only if I went through multiple binders with the artifacts in them. Oh, what happened here? Oh, but I'm pretty sure this is valuable. I probably should take that one out. Uh, Antiqu Antiquities, love that set. Yeah. Okay. So back to uh, what I was explaining. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's kind of weird. So then I would be like, hmm, which of the binders has my Miso Bobbles? And I would not know, but I would know I have them because it's highly unlikely if a card goes from bulk to non-bulk and it's the first time it's done that, it is very unlikely I don't have it. Uh, given just the amount of bulk I own, this is not filled out. So I need to do a better job of filling this out because something went, something went wrong here where it's not actually filled out. But yes, now we'll go to the biggest binder of them all. Uh, the biggest, <laughs> these things are heavy. And yes, we'll, go, we'll try to go fast because this is a huge binder. So if you said, oh, so-and-so card has spiked in price, I would say, okay, cool. Let me go out, go to my binders and find them 
And then once I find them, I will take them and I will, um, like, let's say this card, it's not bad. You, no, this card is bad. It's not the one that I was thinking about, the Armageddon. If you have less than five life, you can destroy all lands. Oh, you have less than 10 life, it becomes a free five. Okay, that's not very good. But yeah, if one of these cards spikes in price, then I probably own at least a few copies of it. Kifkin, I love the Kifkins. This card is pricey, I know that. And so it's not all just crap stuff. Like there's some stuff that right now, as I put this into storage, might have some value. It's just not like useful to me today. Someday, hopefully, the prices will go up and then I'll be able to go to storage. I'll be able to take out, oh, I have a ton of these. I need to like put my other ones in here. I'll be able to go to storage and then from storage, I'll be able to pick the cards out because I then trade them away. And that's how I have so many cards because I just never trade any of them away. Uh, so I don't sell bulk. Oh, I love this card. Lysent I, this card is amazing. I used to play a ton of her. I don't sell bulk because if you sell bulk, it's at like five cents or like four cents, seven cents. Like, why would you do that? Like, don't don't do that because you can just take the chance that one of these cards. All it takes is one Mesoch Bobble to go up from like seven cents to twenty five dollars. And if you had a place of those, yeah, that's like more than like they would pay for your whole entire binder of bulk, like a hundred dollars. They won't. They will not pay a hundred dollars. Oh, like second chance. You gotta get down yourself to five life or less, but it's an extra turn. Pretty good in my opinion, because there's a lot of cards that can you control uh, how much life you want to go down to. Like Death Shadow could use that card, but it's obviously a legacy card. Unmask is a very pretty card. Mutilates. Mutilates used to be worth so much money, and it's, it hurt me to have to put them in this binder. But uh, they had to go because no one wanted them. A togs, <laughs> so much of togs. Uh, tragic slip, I don't know how that got in here, uh, but it is. Bane of Living used to be incredibly valuable back in the day. So a lot of these cards used to be extremely valuable and they're just not valuable anymore. Or uh, the demand is not extremely high. So they go to storage. From storage, they just uh, sit there until I can figure out something to do with them. Like if this dude somehow became like an EDH staple and he got extremely valuable, then I would be like, oh, cool, I have a playset of him. Uh, Underworld Dreams, that used to be a pricey card before the reprint. Uh, reprinted it, which was not great. Ristic Tutor, and that does it. So that is partially what's going to storage to join my other bulk cards. One day I'll promise soon I will take you to my storage after like I make sure that you can't find it. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.